the answers to all the big questions about yourself here. We'll change your ewes to oohs. Let's go. Coughing happens for many reasons. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> many reasons. <coughs> oh, you're sick. Don't worry, I can take over. That's okay, Willow. I'm not sick. I just have dust in my throat. How does coughing help with that? Coughing is your body's way of getting rid of something in your windpipe, like <gasps> dust. You can also cough when a drink goes the wrong way down your windpipe. <coughs> Normally, a drink goes down your esophagus and into your stomach. But sometimes it goes down your windpipe and into your lungs. Coughing prevents too much water getting into your lungs. But we do <coughs> cough when we're sick, right? When we're sick, our body creates extra mucus. This helps protect us from germs. Our body needs to get rid of that mucus. So it makes us cough. The muscles around the ribs get smaller, which forces the air out fast <laughs> with the mucus. Yuck! So coughing <laughs> is a way of getting rid of something in your windpipe. And remember, if you cough, cover your mouth or cough into your elbow. That's all from me, Willow! Now let's test your memory. Find the items that begin with... <laughs> Nails Nails grow on our feet and on our hands I have a very important question Ask away, Lily Why do humans have nails? Cats like me have claws Well Is it because they're fun to paint? Um... Or because it helps humans to scratch? Well, nails are used for scratching. In fact, some scientists... Latin claws. Yeah, I can definitely see that. And that they are for protecting the tips of our fingers and toes. <laughs> like tiny helmets. I have another important question. What are they made of? They're made of the same material as the hooves of horses, the spines of hedgehogs, the horns of rhinoceroses, and the claws of cats. Keratin. Keratin. I never thought human nails and claws like mine would be made of the same thing. <laughs> I have one more important question. What's that, Lily? Do you think I should paint my claws red or blue? Maybe both? Purple it is, then. <laughs> then. <laughs> Wearing glasses. Sometimes our eyes need help to see. 
So we need to wear glasses. What are you up to today, Chester? I'm having my eyes tested. I wonder what all those machines do. They check to see if your eyes need any help to see. So, if your eyesight is fine, light enters through the pupil and lands on the retina. What happens if it doesn't land there? If the light stops before the retina, things in the distance can look fuzzy. Like that bus. That's called being nearsighted. If the eye focuses the light past the retina, though, then things up close can be fuzzy. That must make it hard to read. It does. It's called being farsighted. But wearing glasses can help make things clear again, whether they're close up or far away. Glasses sound very helpful. I can't wait to see if I need them. Let's write. <laughs> hiccups. All humans can get hiccups. Animals too. Have the hiccups stopped, Nash? <laughs> oh, I've tried everything to help stop Nash's hiccups. Drinking water quickly. <laughs> turning him upside down. <laughs> making him jump with a loud boo. <laughs> Nothing works. Hiccups are hard to stop. What causes them? Hiccups are caused by a muscle called the diaphragm. That's on the bottom of our chest, under our lungs. When we inhale... You mean breathe in? The diaphragm pulls down, allowing our lungs to fill with air. What happens when we breathe out? The diaphragm relaxes, and the air goes back up out of our body, helping us breathe. What's happening? Sometimes the diaphragm doesn't work. It gets smaller and the air gets stuck. Suddenly, the air bursts out and creates a hiccup. This happens to everyone? Even babies inside the womb. And mommies can feel it. Hey, Nash isn't hiccuping. Maybe his diaphragm is working again. <sighs> nope, his air is still stuck. Let's spell. Bruise. <laughs> Vomit? Delicious. I bet I could eat that whole cake. That might make you vomit, Marco. Vomit? Sometimes food comes back up from our stomachs and out through our mouths. Vomit is another word for throwing up. Do you know what happens when you food comes back up from your stomach? It does. It's usually mixed with stomach acids and saliva, which is spit. And it comes back up the same way it went down. Why do we vomit? Sometimes it's because our body wants to get rid of food it thinks is bad for us. Sometimes, when we have an illness, we vomit too. And when some people get nervous or worried, their body responds by vomiting. Of course, there is another reason why people vomit. I'm guessing it's because they've eaten too much? I'll just have the one piece then. Mm. Let's spell.